process on this back. People are traveling. They're doing this safely. We're all social distancing. We did paint class today. We're doing the uh, dance class this evening. We got a silent dance party later on tonight. But I'm just saying this to say to you all, don't just let life pass you by. Get out, enjoy it, and have a wonderful day. So, from Punta Cana, every lady in the VR, every Thursday, 9 p.m. We have Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. I gotta go dance. Oh, oh, no, no. Thank you for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. Gracias por ver las damas de Ebenias en el DR. Yo soy True Africana Bridget. So this episode just kind of came to me because we have been out today with friends, having a good time, and we met some wonderful people on the beach today. So I'm going to shout out Elijah and his whole family. You guys were a joy to meet. They're from New York, um, but they did not get to leave the resort. They did not really get to experience Punta Cana. So, guys, when you're coming to Punta Cana, even if you're going to be staying on a resort, kind of is pencil in one day off site, one day off the resort to get out and see everything that this city has to offer. They're looking for great fried fish. Oh my God, we got the best fried fish. I told them, Captain Cook, as long as another whole list of restaurants they could go to. I said, watch the re restaurant episode, right? I did the episode. Uh, but they hadn't been able to have some of their favorites and you're on an island. Of course you want fried fish. Of course you want lobster. And we have those things. But if you're staying at an all-inclusive, you don't know that right because you don't know you're going to get what they're going to give you and not a you know not all of the um all inclusives are able to have lobster and the uh, nice fried fish on the menu every night so we say pencil in one day that you can leave the resort and explore explore the city they said oh you know we we ran into the hood every city has a hood the punta cana has a hood i go to the hood every day on my bike i'm not going to call out any particular area as being the hood but if you live in Punta Cana, you know where the hood is. And has anything ever happened? Not a thing. I, I feel safe. I'm not intimidated. I'm not afraid. And you know, most of the time I'm on my bicycle. Even though we bought a car, I still ride my bicycle all around the city as much as I possibly can because I'm trying to stay in shape. Hence the swimsuit. I've been trying to stay in shape. Today was a two beach day because you know we got Bella Beach Day, then Bridget and Davlin Beach Day. So I ride my bicycle go and go swim go exercise I don't go to the beach to just lay on the beach now some days I do but most days I go to the beach to dance and to swim and that's what I did today so I'm encouraging people and when we today our first 
trip to the beach. We went to Los Corrales because that one is more pet friendly. Um, it's more space than jellyfish. We do like jellyfish, but went to Los Corrales and tourism is back. I walked the pier, I let Davlin and Bella swim, I walked all the way down to the other end. The other end, there are a lot more um, hotels that are not resorts, there are a lot more restaurants and things on, going towards the other end, and there were people everywhere. I was very excited to see them. Um, it was about half and half of the people that had their mask on because everybody's out in the, you know, in the open air. And I know there's no excuse because they're, they're strangers. I was on the beach on this end away from people. And when I did pass them, I kind of put my head down because I can't wear a mask when I'm working out. I don't wear a mask when I swim, of course, but people are still observing, you know, the mask mandate when they're going into stores and going into different businesses. But tourism is different definitely back here in Punta Cana because uh, all of the uh, the restaurants and everything's are starting to open back up the a lot of the hotels are opening back up so it was such a good day today but I, and I was so happy to meet Elijah and his family again shout out to Elijah he turned 16 wow what a birthday present sweet 16 your family brings you to the DR and he had the best crew with him and we had a joy meeting them we just sad it was their last night here but they were expressing how they hadn't been anywhere so that's what I say to you whether you come into Punta Cana or going anywhere else in the world uh, to a beach community don't stay at the resort the whole time pencil yourself one day to get out explore the city see what it's all about so if you ever get questions oh how's the DR oh Punta Cana is wonderful Punta Cana is safe they have lots of good food you can answer those questions versus well the beaches are pretty you know we stayed at the resort we didn't do anything else and that's not what you want to do you want to be able to say yeah let me tell you about ebony ladies in the DR we met her on the beach and uh, let me tell you about this city it's a wonderful city and that's why we bring this show to you to show you that there's so much more to island life and resort living than just you know what they offer you right there you want to get out you want to explore Punta Cana is an amazing place I say it all the time, two years now, you know, so I say it all the time. You've got to really take advantage of when you're out. But people always are commenting about, is it safe? And yes, it is very, very safe. Um, you, But you have to use common sense, like anywhere, we, anywhere that you travel. But we are welcome to get tourism going again. I'm so happy to see so many of my Dominican friends back at work and they're happy and they're feeling good and they're there is but it's like their attitude never changed and that's why I love Punta Cana that's why I love Dominican Republic because no matter what people are going through they don't take it out on you they don't show that because they appreciate life no matter what challenges or matter what difficulties they're going through so guys get out travel it we're still in a pandemic we realize that but people are getting vaccinated you can get vaccinated here so do your protocols do everything so that you can continue to live life don't stay at home alone and you know in in fear living in fear of the pandemic when you don't have to people are traveling People are, are getting back out. So I encourage everyone to do the same. Punta Cana is safe. Our numbers are drastically going down. I don't have that for you right now. As you see, I've been at the beach all day. And this was an impromptu video, but I had to get it out there. I just want to say, you know, get off the resort so you can enjoy whatever city it is you're traveling to. As always, if you have any more questions for me in the comments, coming soon, I'm going to answer the 20 most asked questions by expats to me on my channel. I'm going to put it together a series. If you have more questions, throw them in there and I'll try to add them because I haven't come up with my 20 questions yet. But as always, just put your comments in there. I love hearing them. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. So as always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share Ebony Ladies in the DR right here on YouTube every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, take care.